Let's take a look at menus over here. Gee, I feel like Vanna White. And here's the help menu, and here's the file menu. What do you think? Whenever I open a new program, I like to take a look at the menus. It gives me an idea of how the program is structured, if anything's new or changed, and it gives me a framework of where everything is located. On the file menu, you can create a new file, open and close files, save and save as. Vegas can only open one file at a time, but you can not open multiple instances of Vegas, for example, to copy and paste clips between files. Render as, this is where we communicate our work to the outside world. We can import media of all types. We can import AAF, AVID files, and we can import broadcast wave files. We can also launch the capture video application. And we can extract audio from a CD. We can publish to the Acid Planet site, and we can get video from the web. We can also check our project properties right here. The edit menu contains the usual suspects, undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete, post edit ripple, same as up here, same as this control, select, select all, or select event start and end, editing tool, same as up here, we can cycle through these with the D key. Switches that we can apply to individual clips. Varies by the type of clip that's selected. We can work with takes here. We can create and remove items from groups. And we can work with stereo channels or mono channels here. We can also clear the edit history. The view menu. Oddly enough, the view menu is where we select what we want to see. Toolbar. Status bar. Focus to track view. I don't have to read through these for you. But you can see that all of the individual elements of the interface are available here. Want to see your video scopes? Bring them up from the view menu also available by keystroke. Want to see your surround panner? Same deal. We don't have a surround project this time. We'll look into that later. On the insert menu, we can insert audio and video envelopes, audio and video tracks, audio buses, audio assignable effects. We can insert empty events, text media, and generated media. We can insert time. We can insert markers, regions, audio CD track regions, and commands from the Insert menu. From the Tools menu, depending on what you have selected, you can choose Audio Tools, for example, Open in SoundForge or your audio editor. You can insert effects, etc. Video, you can insert effects and motion and output effects. You can render to a new track. That's very useful. We'll talk a lot about that later. You can preview in the player. We'll talk a lot about selectively pre-rendering and cleaning up pre-rendered video a little bit later. You can build a dynamic RAM preview, and you can print video to tape and to HDV tape. You can lay out audio CDs from events. You can burn CDs, and you can access Vegas's scripting department. You can clean your project media and rebuild offline nested audio in projects which are nested. The Options menu consolidates a lot of commands that are available elsewhere. For example, snapping, automatic crossfades, auto ripple, lock envelopes to events, ignore event grouping. These are all available on the toolbar here. Let's look at the Help menu. You can launch Vegas Online Help. Very informative. You can turn on What's This, which allows you to go to a particular command, for example, and get a definition of that command. You can get a list of keyboard shortcuts. 
If you're like me, when you got the product, you took a look at the keyboard shortcuts card that came with the product and looked at the ones that might be of interest to you. We'll talk a lot more about keyboard shortcuts and other shortcuts in a separate lesson. You can update your user information or enter your serial number, or you can contact Sony on the web for updates, support, and feedback. If you're not sure what version of Vegas you're running, right here. In addition to the traditional menus up here, Vegas is fully versed in right-click menus. For example, if we right-click in the time display, we get options related to the time display. If we right-click in a track, we get a list of options related to tracks. If we right-click in the timeline, we get options related to the timeline. If we right-click in the marker bar, we get a list of options related to the marker bar. Menus in Vegas 6.0 kind of form the skeleton of the program.